So tuberculosis diagnosis is basically two types. One is confirmatory diagnosis or microbiological diagnosis. Second is supportive and radiological diagnosis. So confirmatory diagnosis, the gold standard confirmatory diagnosis is sputum examination. So from previous days, earlier days to present day, the most commonly used test is sputum for acid fast bacillus. This is a staining method where the sputum sample of a person is stained and looked for tuberculous bacteria. Sometimes because of low count or maybe sputum inadequacy, the sputum for FB may be negative. Then in those cases, there is a latest test that is called gene expert test. This test primarily focuses on DNA of the bacteria, tuberculous bacteria. So during this test, the sensitivity of diagnosing the tuberculosis patient has gone up to 80 to 90 percent in a sputum sample. So now the first one is sputum for AOB test should be done. The second one is sputum for gene expert. In cases where the sputum patient is not able to bring adequate sputum, or if there is no sputum, or if sputum sample is negative for gene expert and AOB staining, still, if the physician is having a high suspicion of TB in the patient, the next procedure would be bronchoscopy and collecting bronchoalveolar laves. Bronchoalveolar laves is nothing but will be pushing and taking water from a distant alveoli through the airways. So this sample will be again tested for TB bacilli including AFB and gene expert. The yield or the sensitivity of the ball for uh, TB bacteria will go up to 95 to 97 percent. So once these are the confirmatory tests. And gene expert has also an additional advantage not in not only diagnosing the TB in a patient, it can also diagnose a multi drug resistant TB. The next one is if in cases of if the uh, sputum sample is negative or ball sample is negative, still there is a doubt, then you have to send for TB bacteria culture and sensitivity. This culture and sensitivity, depending upon the culture media, the reports may, av may be available within 2 weeks to 8 weeks, that is half a month to 2 months. It depends on the type of culture media used for the growth. So these are all the confirmatory tests. Now coming to supportive tests. What are the supportive tests that commonly employed in diagnosing a TB patient? So the most common test is man 2 test or tuberculin skin test. In this test, we will be injecting a small quantity of protein of the surface protein of the TB bacteria into the patient's skin subcutaneously it is given. The reaction depending on this test will be done and it will be read after 48 to 72 hours. The test will be given positive depending on the width of the area that is involved means the reaction wheel there will be swelling the swelling will be measured horizontal measurement will be done and if it is greater than 10 then it can be safely understood that the person has been infected with tb bacteria but it does not specify that he is having tb disease similar test to tuberculosis skin test or man to test is another one is quantiferon tb gold test this test usually will be done by taking blood sample from the patient. The same as tuberculosis skin test, this also does not diagnose the TB disease, but it will only tell whether the patient is infected with TB bacteria or not. Infection with TB bacteria does not imply that he is having TB disease. The other thing is radio diagnosis. That means in very some cases, even though with uh, sputum, or bronchial laves or man to everything may be negative, but the radiological picture that includes x ray and CT chest may strongly indicate that the patient is having a TB disease. In such cases, the clinician has every right to treat the patient as TB, naming him as clinically diagnosed TB.